Are blogs still relevant here in 2023 is a question that I get asked quite often by both other people that are doing marketing for themselves and building their own websites, as well as prospective clients that are looking to hire us for digital marketing and for us to be able to write blogs for them. And the answer is absolutely yes. And one of the key reasons behind that is Google is looking to put your website and all of your online assets out to people that are needing the services that you provide. And one of the things that Google really, really loves to do is reward high quality and written content that is answering the questions of the users and their search intent. So for example, if somebody is going to look for digital marketing services and they type in a long tailed keyword around the likes of been currently doing marketing on my own, but looking to outsource it and hire an agency to do so. If we have a blog on our website that actually reflects that type of keyword and content that is on our website with a formally written article, we are going to be in a position to have our website come up when somebody searches that. No different than whatever industry or business or line of work that you are in, by writing blogs, you are able to, one, address key questions that people are actually asking when they're looking to hire and potentially buy from you as a business. But two, you are appeasing Google because again, everybody is going to search something a little bit different when they're looking to actually make that search online. And so by having high quality and relevant content, answering the intent in the questions of the users for a platform like Google, you are so much more likely to actually get a chance to have your website populate for those keywords. Now, there's a lot of people out there that say blogs are dead, you don't need to continue to do them. Each time you add a new piece of content to your website and that it's indexed properly, meaning Google understands that a page has been added, that page is then added into your overall website structure in the eyes of the search engines, Again, Google is able to re-index and allow you to come up for more keywords as well as increase the ranking of the keywords that you're already coming up for. So it's kind of like going to the gym, the more content that you add to your website, whether it's a blog, maybe it's a service or a location page or just a new page on your website, it's kind of like going to the gym again. Consistency along with quality plays a big role here with Google. So whether you're hiring a company to do blogs for you, we do a minimum of four new pages of content for our clients each and every single month, or you're doing it internally, just make sure that not only the intent is behind it, so making sure that the questions or the things that the blog is actually being written about are also things that people are searching when it comes to uh, typing in keywords for your, your services uh, or your products on Google. But there's also the quality and the consistency aspect behind all of that stuff. So blogs are absolutely still relevant here in 2023. A lot of people will say they're not because they just simply don't wanna do them. And I always go by the rule of if people don't wanna do them and there's opportunity to do them, and Google recognizes them as being real and authoritative, I'm willing to go that extra mile in order to appease Google. If Google asks uh, you know, me to jump, I just ask how high, I don't ask why I have to jump. Very similar here with blogs. If you have any questions about writing blogs, have any thoughts, feedback, etc., or want to learn more information about how we can help write those blogs for you, feel free to leave a comment below. Thank you very much for watching today's video, and we'll see you next week.